Um, so we didn't actually get any correspondence, but I know that the last episode, uh, I didn't get to do any of my film reviews because I hadn't been to the cinema. And I think the audience was just too outraged to write in. Yeah, you don't think it's that no one gives a shit about that section? No, no, no. I think they, okay. I think they were like fucking livid. Got you. And I think, wait, if if, if just just between me and you, if I'm going to kind of lay my cards on the table, I think like our regular listeners didn't want to burn some bridges with us. Right, of course. I think if, if they'd have written in with their like unbridled fury, they know that they're doing consequences. Yeah, so you think that that's why they didn't? They just sort of in. they they silently seethed. Okay, it's definitely not that no one cares about that section. No. Nah. I went to the cinema okay. this week. What did you see, Liam? Uh, well, so we obviously saw Greatest Showman, but we've already talked about that, so moving yep. on. Uh, yep. I saw I, Tonya. Which one's that? That rings a bell. It's the one with Margot Robbie in it. Yep. And she's a figure skater. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's a, it's a biopic based on Tonya Harding. Um, and in like the 90s Winter Olympics, there was, oh, there was some controversy when one of her like main rivals got involved in in a accident and I'm using like quotation marks around that yeah and people blame Tonya Harding for orchestrating that accident which was basically someone I think smashed her kneecaps in I think is this referenced in another film I don't know because I, I I know that story and I feel like I've seen it in a film before possibly I don't know but yeah anyway carry, carry on um, so yeah I, Tonya, is basically like a biopic of Tonya Harding's life. Tonya Harding played by Margot Robbie. Um, they they have like this narrative device that I quite like where they have interviews with the camera. So I think The Office kind of made that a popular technique to use where, you know, you'd get people just talking to the camera. And it's yeah. like, it's a real easy shorthand to kind of get into a character's headspace. And I liked that. They did that and, you know... They the, the the framing device of the film is you have interviews from Tonya Harding and interviews from her ex husband, who's okay. played by Sebastian Stan, who you'll know him from the Marvel movies because he plays uh, Winter Soldier. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so he plays uh, Jeff Galuli, and it kind of tells you at the very beginning this film is put together based on interviews with these two, and their interviews do conflict. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. I was going to watch. Did- so is the film like is do do we know is is do we know what the actual truth did she actually do it? Uh, I think the film definitely leans towards being quite sympathetic to her. Okay. And it portrays her as not really knowing what was going on, and Jeff Galuli kind of more being the one that orchestrates it because he was obviously with her at the time and right. all that sort of stuff. Um, but you know they they are unreliable narrators. Yeah. So there is definitely a, a kind of, um, oh, what's the word, like room for interpretation in there. You've also got Alison Janney, who plays her mum, and she's really good. Uh, I think she maybe won a Golden Globe for that performance, and totally understandable. Oh, uh, but yeah, the the only, oh, the other good thing, uh, the soundtrack, kind of, it, it uses just amazing music throughout. So that that's all of the good things. Um, less good. So obviously, the the big move that Tonya Harding was kind of known for was this thing called a triple axel. And okay. the film like explains exactly what that means within the context of figure skating. Um, there's basically like just a handful of people in the world that can actually pull that move off. And I think like two of them were training for the Winter Olympics. So they got someone else to perform it and then they like CGI'd Margot Robbie's face onto that person. Yep. CGI doesn't look great. Oh. It's a bit uncanny valley. Yeah, got you, got you. And I, I don't understand what it is with, with movies particularly in the, like, the last year, where they, they just seem to go, the CGI isn't great, but let's just live with it. Like Justice League, right? The, like I, I can forgive I, Tonya, because it was probably on a much lower budget, but it just it made me think of Justice League and how movies just seem to be letting really shoddy CGI slip by for some reason. Well, I, I guess the argument would be, and I don't know if this is true, this is just my sort of guess, Yeah, is that we're at a point where some stuff can look realistic, yeah. But other things are more difficult to do. And those things that are difficult to do, there's not a better way of doing. So, like, it's not like, you know, the the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park where it was like, okay, well, our animatronics are going to look better. Like, you couldn't animatronic Margot Robbie. No. On doing an act, a three, whatever, triple, triple axle, axle. Sp- yeah. spin kick. Yep, yeah, sure. 
So I, I, like that would be my guess is that there's there's not another option for them to do, and sometimes it's like, well, it's well, obviously uh, okay. CGI, but we have to take it. Let me give you this as an alternative. What if instead of doing like a close up of her, because the way they do it is they they like do like a big slow motion shot, and it's like quite a it's like a mid body shot, so you can see basically from like the waist up, right? Yep. Why not just do a long shot and not like slow mo? Because then you wouldn't really see the face. Yeah, but I guess I guess there's a reason for it. I d- I, I, d- I don't know. I just feel like in this day and age, if the CGI isn't good enough, do something else. Because bad CGI is so noticeable nowadays. I agree to a certain extent, but I do think there are some things that you cannot do a different way. I'm not necessarily saying the ice skating thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you but know, in those cases, I'd rather they did it and just went fuck it. We need that scene. We just can't do it a different way. Yeah. Than drop whole bits out of films because they, the CGI looks bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm making quite a big deal out of this. There's literally just a couple of instances where the CGI just looks a bit bad. It's not a huge deal. No, it's, it's just it's, a shame. It's fair enough because, like, that does in films. I, I find that distracting when something looks like yeah. some of the scenes in Greatest Showman. There's a couple of times where oh, the, the animals don't look particularly. The animals great. are a bit weird. And Zendaya doing her when she does the spinning round the ring. There's a bit where like yeah. they're get, getting a face shot, and I was like, oh, this looks a bit weird. Okay. Um, the only other negative I have for right on you is, so you know how I was saying they had that device where you had the characters talking to the camera? Yeah. They also, so they, they, they use that to kind of set up the scene that you're about to see essentially and then you'll see like a bit of her life and stuff and it's all acting and wonderful. But they kind of break the fourth wall during the like the story moments. Okay. And well, I, I just, what do you mean? So, right, you'll have the narrator who will say something then you'll cut to like a part of the actual like story. So the note will be like, "That's when he hit me." Cuts yeah. to shot of him hitting her, and then she'll like say something to the camera and break the fourth wall in that shot. Oh, and okay. I feel I like you yeah, you don't need that fourth wall break in um, when you've if already got the the, yeah. the voiceover and that whole device that they're using. It just it, it was a bit, it just didn't quite work for me. It felt a bit out of place. And yeah, I get what you mean. That that makes sense. Yeah. But overall, you know, I thought it was enjoyable. It's not. I don't think it's going to... Performances aside, I don't think it's going to be like one of those movies that's going to be talked about for like Oscar contention. Uh, like the performances are really good. They, they could be Oscar worthy, but the actual film itself, it's not a Best Picture winner, I don't think. Um, it's just... It's, it, it's three and a half out of five. Fair enough. Uh, that's all that I saw at the cinema this week.